Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we will be reviewing the Dollar General Marvel Universe Captain Marvel. Sorry if I pause there for a second. My head's a little bit screwy with my autism today. <laughs> but yeah, we're looking at Captain Marvel herself from Marvel Comics. But before we check out the figure itself, let's look at the packaging. You got some nice artwork of Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer, Black Panther, Spider-Man, and so many other heroes. Captain Marvel, Hasbro, Marvel, ages 4 and up, I think. And a bio of Captain Marvel from Marvel Comics, if you want to read it. It's a thing you can do. And warning information, Marvel, Hasbro. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's take a look at this figure. The arms are on a on a complete rotation. They don't have any bend. That's the disappointment with these ten dollar Dollar General figures. And the head is on a ball joint. I appreciate that. Knowing it's a tight ball joint. And that's all there is to say for posability for this figure. But now we're going to get down to comparison. Here is Captain Marvel from Marvel Comics next to the Incredible Hulk. And yeah, I love these almost 12 inch Marvel figures you can get at your local Dollar General. That's all there's to say for Hulk. Would I recommend this figure if you're a huge Marvel fan? I would definitely re recommend this. These. They are definitely good display figures. And I just love them. You can probably find them at Dollar General if you got one near you. Sorry if I had to correct myself for a moment. You're probably wondering how much these cost at Dollar General. Ten bucks a piece. They are worth the money. You won't be disappointed. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.